Concern over the ozone layer intensified in October of 1984 when a, quote, hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica was detected by British scientists. NASA confirmed the finding the following year. During winter, permanent Antarctic ice clouds uh, exist where ice crystals serve as a surface for reactions involving CFCs and chlorine. The reactive forms of chlorine destroy ozone before they were dispersed. In 1987, ozone levels over the winter dropped to half those uh, found in pre-1970 studies. Presently, about 60% of the ozone is depleted from an area about three times the size of the continental U.S. More air movement occurs at the North Pole, and the ozone loss, although serious, is less drastic than the situation observed over Antarctica. The southern ozone hole is expanding towards Australia and southern Chile. In 2002, the ozone hole over Antarctica elongated over time and split into two separate holes. The depletion of uh, ozone over the Arctic can cause ozone depletion of 30% uh, during much of the year and 70% during spring. Severe ozone depletion in the spring of 2000 led to two weeks in which an area over the Arctic was essentially free of ozone. The largest ozone hole over Antarctica was observed in the year 2006.